going guys uh, just want to say thank you for subscribing to the channel uh, we've broken a thousand subscribers we've been uh, channel's been growing pretty quickly lately it's been awesome um, so thank you if you've subscribed and if you've just watched the video thank thanks for that as well um, it's been pretty exciting lately so uh, to celebrate the 1,000 subscribers I'm gonna work on something for you this weekend and as you can tell by the thumbnail I'm sure uh, I'm gonna weigh the truck and I'm gonna weigh the trailer so uh, I'm on, on my way home from work right now so I'm gonna stop by a cat scale that I passed every day and I'm gonna weigh the truck I just filled it up at a uh, station down the road because it was 30 cents cheaper a gallon uh, diesel still outrageous it's uh, almost six dollars a gallon now um, I think I put 20 gallons in so you're looking at 120 dollars it's killing me right now but luckily we only use the truck for towing and uh, I did drive it to work today but I don't I don't do that much anymore so uh, anyway stay tuned we're gonna pull into the cat scale I've got the cat scale app uh, we're gonna try that out and uh, I'll walk you through the steps of it. I've never done this, never gone on a cat scale at all, so it's all new to me. So uh, stay tuned and see what we got. I have never, <laughs> I have never seen a truck on a cat scale <laughs> until I've just pulled in to get on the cat scale. This you gotta be kidding. All right. Well, he's leaving. He's pulling off the scale, so let me circle around. Here we go. About to pull up on the cat scale. I think that truck was just trying to drive around. Phone, of course, is up again. All right, so I'm going to get lined up with the front of the truck on the front scale, and the back of the truck on the back scale. All right, I'm going to throw it in park. The app asks for the location. Location number. Let's enter that in. Done. Hit accept. And the location is correct. It is communicating with the scale. Complete all the fields. Company got all that. Great, okay, sure. All the fields are filled out because we did that earlier when I uh, started the app. Fee is thirteen dollars. I hit accept. Sending request to scale computer. I don't see anything happen out there, but there is nothing to see. All right, sweet. That's what we got don't know how well you'll see that um, but I can show it again later and I'm gonna hit done it says your printed ticket will be available for pickup at the fuel desk for one hour all right cool there we go so I'll review that later didn't really get a chance to look at it now I'll head home that's easy enough I was there a very very short amount of time so okay um, I don't know if it'll be today or tomorrow but I'm gonna hook to the, to the trailer um, it is mostly ready to camp so it you know as far as weight and everything it should be pretty close I may throw some water in the uh, freshwater tanks just to add a little weight to try to level it out or you know make it more like a, a camping situation um, so anyway, we'll hook to the trailer, we'll bring it down to the scales, and we will see what everything weighs together. So I just wanted to show you guys the sticker on the inside of the door. Um, this shows the gross axle weight ratings for the front and the rear. Um, I'm going to post the PDF up here at the top so we can kind of compare everything. As you can see, we got a 5,600 pound front axle weight rating that's the max 7230 for the rear so once we get the trailer connected 
and get it weighed uh, we can see the difference we can see if we are at the max if we're overweight if we can adjust our airbags to help change things we'll see we'll see what we got This is the setup. Got a 34 foot gooseneck. It's a car hauler. Converted to a camper. Let's see what's inside. Oops. So, uh, excuse the mess on the couch. We're trying to wash sheets and uh, get things ready for our next trip. Basically, you can see uh, the things we've added. Murphy bed in the back. Kitchen. So it'll be a little different than camping, but honestly not a whole lot. Uh, we're going to try to calculate and add a little more weight to it later, you know, to our numbers. But uh, overall, I think we'll be pretty close. This is the kids' room. Three beds in there all built together. If you want to see more of our cargo trailer conversion, uh, we have a full walkthrough. And we have quite a few videos of just the, the full build. So uh, anyway, check that out. All right, let's head out, get this thing weighed. Ready for weigh in number two with the trailer. I guess maybe weigh in one with the trailer. Never been to this scale. One thing to know uh, I looked this up last night. I've actually waited a couple days since, uh, since I weighed the truck. So if you do a reweigh within 24 hours at the same station that you went to the first time, uh, you only have to pay three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, if you wait longer than 24 hours or you go to a different scale like I did, um, you have to pay the thirteen dollars again. Uh, so the other scale I went to was a little further away from my house so that's why I came to a different scale. Make sure the axles are right. So again, enter in the location number. Hit accept. It gives you the location and you confirm that. I hit accept again. It's communicating with the scale. It asks you all of your information, company name, tractor, trailer number, things like that. It's going to charge me $13. That's okay. And we're weighing. So I have 50 pounds of air in the airbags. And this is what we got. Okay, so um, I guess we'll get out of here. 
and uh, go home and review the numbers. You guys will see that in just a few minutes. I'm going to concentrate on getting home. Catch back up with you in a few minutes. So let's start with the unloaded weight of the truck. Uh, of course on the left side we have our cat scale weight. Uh, in the middle you have your door sticker weight ratings and on the right we have our difference. Uh, we've got quite a bit of cushion for the front and rear axles to add a lot more weight. The gross weight for the truck was 8280 which was a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking 7 to 7500. Uh, and then the gross vehicle weight rating for the truck is 12,400. Subtract the weight of the truck and that gives you a payload of 4,120 pounds. The door sticker says around 4,500. So this is why you buy a F-350. You get all that payload. I'm really feeling good about these numbers. So this is the truck and trailer combined. Uh, if you take a look at the front axle numbers on the top graph, uh, you see we've got 60 pounds of difference from loaded or unloaded to loaded, which tells me we're riding pretty level. Uh, I was happy, very happy with that number. Uh, your rear axle, we added quite a bit of weight and we have uh, 2,880 pounds of difference. Um, if you take the front axle weight and the rear axle weight and add those together, that's going to give you the tongue weight of the trailer which is 2,940 pounds. To be completely honest, I'm not surprised by that number at all. Uh, everything we added in the trailer, basically except the Murphy bed and the fireplace, are in front of the axles. So this gets us to the total weight of the trailer. And if you take the gross combined weight rating, which is 18,540 pounds, you subtract the truck weight, which is 8,280 pounds, you end up with 10,260 pounds. That's the total weight of the trailer. Uh, that is about dead on where I thought it would be. I'll, I've always said 10,000 pounds. So the graph on the bottom is just showing the loaded weight, the truck and trailer for the front axle and the rear axle. And you can see the door sticker and the difference in those. Uh, we still have a decent amount of room and uh, that's the great thing about this truck. So for the trailer only, of course, our tongue weight is 2,940 pounds. The total trailer weight is 10,260 pounds. And the trailer has a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,400 pounds, which leaves us with 4,140 pounds of payload. Plenty of room, plenty of extra weight uh, to put a side-by-side -side in there or any kind of toys we want to carry with us. One mistake we made when we started our conversion was not weighing the trailer before we added anything to it. We were in too big of a hurry and we got excited about adding insulation and everything else. Uh, just looking at the gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer and the payload that came from the factory, uh, the trailer should have weighed around 7,688 pounds. Uh, we're not sure it really weighed that. There was a lot of water intrusion um, you know who knows so that's basically a starting point but we're not really sure okay guys that about does it for this video i uh, appreciate you watching hope you got a lot out of it um, if you have any comments leave them below i'm no professional with all this stuff um, i know that you know probably i should have topped the truck off again but i felt like we only used about three gallons didn't think it was that big of a deal I'm sure we could add a little more weight for the family and, and some other things, but overall, just wanted to get a, a good idea of where we're at with the weight and uh, feel pretty good about it. Really feeling good about the truck. Um, glad we went ahead and bought one and upgraded. Uh, think it was very much needed. So we got a lot of really exciting videos coming up for you. Can't wait to show you what we've got going on. Uh, new stuff for the truck. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Maybe even some motorcycle videos. I think Alex is wanting to show off his, uh, his bike a little. So maybe we can do that in the future. So uh, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate it and 